I am Joe Alexi, and welcome back to Bowie. So we're here in Balamora, and we have been given the task to go try to cure our corpus disease. In order to do so, we need to go all the way to Sadrathmora, and then south to tell Fry, where we'll meet Delvin Fry. He is a scholar in many things. So what do you help. want of me, Outlander? Nothing. Yeah, I don't exactly know like what his profession is, but apparently he's like a scholar of many quite things. Please so shame. we're gonna go talk to him. He should have valuable information. So much to remember. Wait a minute, did I finish all of Share his your thoughts, quests? friend. I enjoy the company. Oh. Uh, yeah, they don't want to talk to us while we're. Yeah, they don't like us. They don't like us. They think we're ugly and disgusting. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. They can think that all they want. Uh, all right. So pretty much all we got to do is just water walk over there. And that's pretty much all we're going to be doing today. Is we're going to try to get cured. We're going to cure ourselves and progress. Now, I do think this may be one more quest, and then uh, Caius Kassad will take off. So we'll be able to get our stuff back out of that chest without him, you know, attacking us unprovoked. But that's fine. I still would like to get us a better base set up somewhere. Like, there's so many different places we can to set up a base. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Little skitter bug. Doing his job. Now, DM Milamuka did suggest the idea once of, like, spawning in a rat or something, like a dead body on the ground, to use as uh, storage space. So we could always do that as an option. Which, I do have the construction set, and I have not been working on my custom story at all. Neglected it. Been neglecting it. But we could just, like, spawn in, like, shells and anything that we may need. But, you know, I do kind of classify that as cheating. And I don't like to cheat. Stickler for the rules, but sometimes you just have to. All right, Delveth Fry, we have come seeking your guidance. All right, Delveth Fry, hello, sir. Speak, traveler. Say, so that's an interesting Dwemer piece you have there. What can you tell me about it? Offer the Dwemer artifact as a gift, politely show him the piece, then put it away. It's a gift. A gift for me? How thoughtful and shrewd. I suppose you know I am a collector and that such a gift is bound to please me. I congratulate you on you on your diplomatic skills. So why have you tried to butter me up? Come to consult the great Delveth Fry? Have you the divine de disease? Want to plunder the dungeon? Or leer at my daughters? Oh wow. A uh, divine disease. The magical principles of the corpus disease are exclusive, elusive, and miraculous. Far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I am persuaded that it is some manner of the curse or blessing of a god. Perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It saps the mind and destroys the body. But to a wizard, it is a profound and glorious mystery. A riddle worth a long lifetime of study. Very nice. Plunder the dungeon. When you live for a thousand years, you need a hobby, something you love. Always sparks your interest. I collect treasures and invite thieves to steal them. I'm a collector and a sportsman. I collect enchanted items and ancient artifacts, have quite a few Dwemer pieces, and as a sportsman I love letting thieves try to steal my well-guarded treasures. Only a few rules. One, don't hurt the inmates. Two, don't hurt my daughters. My warden and guards can look out for themselves. 
Oh, cool. What about your daughters? The magical... Wait a minute. I need one I picked. Not bad for something born in a jar, eh? Charming and talented. Not daughters, really. A little project, a side benefit of my research in the corpus disease. Made them myself from my own flesh. Nice, aren't they? Alpha fry, beta fry, delta fry, and oopsie fry. Quite a comfort to me in my old age, haha. <laughs> okay, so he's into some interesting stuff. Kind of a bit of a pervert. I, I need, like, how do I fix this? Coded message. Corpus disease. Oh, here we go. How interesting. Did you know that the corpus makes you immune to disease? Have you ever heard of the prophecies of the Neverine? I actually understand the Neverine will be immune to disease. I've also always thought maybe I have the Neverine down in my corpus and I don't even know it. Ha ha ha. The Neverine is a fat, disgusting corpus monster and mad as a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? Explain that you may fulfill the Neverine prophecies. Tell him you know nothing about the Neverine prophecies. Ooh, this could have consequences. All right, we're gonna just talk to you about like we know nothing. Neverine prophecies, just Ashlander superstition, or maybe not. Never can tell with prophecy and Azura are concerned. Hmm, let me think. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a potion in theory. It should cure corpus. Doesn't work though, probably kill you killed all my test subjects but you've got nothing to lose before i give it to you i want you to look around below the corpus now what's in store if you don't take the potion and while you're there i will i want you to pick up a pair of my boots from a victim he calls himself yagram bargarn my oldest patient handy fellow fixes things for me bring the boots back and then you can have the potion. All right. All right. So he wants us to go down there, talk to him, and get them boots. And then we'll take them boots to him. So it kind of sounds like old dude's a creeper, like making his own daughters out of like a petri dish or something. But that's not just the gist I was catching from him. I think he's a pervert. Very well, could be a pervert. All right. There's someone watching me. So, I can tell. I'm waiting. Try. Actually, how would you grow a person in a petri dish? It would be like kind of hard to do. Especially in like this medieval style stuff. I so imagine the science place would be far from or progressed. But they do have magic, so there's no telling what he could do. Ah, uh, hello. These guys just like hang out. All right. What's up, my guy? Oopsie fry. You're here for the Dwemer boots. Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwemer and my mage crafter could have done so much, but only idiots could have created these boots. It shames my race that we must be judged by the works of such lack-witted blunders. Okay, what about them boots? Lord Fry obtained these enchanted Dwemer boots from an unfortunate thief, and given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the follow fellow came a bad end. Okay, that's confusing. But I could do nothing for them. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start over again. If such a pair of boots could still be fashioned in these blight benight benighted latter days, but I have done my best. Take them to Lord Fry with my sincere apologies. Okay, thank you. Ooh, levitate one to 100. That would be a nice, uh, nice little thing to have. Oh, that reminds me of that little levitation dagger. I love that thing. The dagger of heaven or something like that. Which we know the spell to levitate, so we don't need none of that stuff. Fresh game. Oh, excellent. 
We have the spell, so we don't need any enchanted items of Levitate. But whenever you're not a wizard, like, enchanted items are just, like, so cool. So cool. We add a, add a little perk benefit. Come on. There we go. Alright. Mr. Come on. Velvet Fry, talk to me. I have information for you. So good to see you. What did you get? The boots? No boots, no potion. The boots first, please. And now I'll give you the potion on the following condition. You must drink it here before my eyes. It should act immediately. And I need to observe you very carefully. Agree? Yes, give me the potion. Good. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good. Now swallow. Goodness. Good grief. Look! Look! It's working! Remarkable. Let me check your skin, your eyes, your tongue. Amazing. I think it worked. No sign of the disease at all. Of course, you still have corpus disease, just like I planned. But all your symptoms are gone. Marvelous. I'll go try it on some of my... Some of the more desperate inmates. But I'll answer any questions you have before you go. Corpus disease? See, no more symptoms. Amazing. A bit of a surprise myself. Alright, it fixed us all except for agility. You're completely cured. Did you forget something? Um, I guess no. That's literally all we came here for. I gave Devil's Fry the Dormer Boots and Yargum bargain and he gave me the potion it didn't cure me but it did remove apparent signs of the disease devil fry said he didn't actually want to cure me he just wants to remove the harmful features of the disease while preserving its virtues it worked and now devil fry is eager to test the potion on subjects in the corpusum but i must hurry back to report to the spy master and search for the lost prophecies all right mission accomplished we did it we did it Actually, we could just poof out of here. I love the ability to wherever we need to go. Wherever we need to. Where are we? More like more? Alright. Alright, I guess we can work with this. We can work with this a little bit. Hello, sir. I need to go to Vivic Foreign Quarter. All right, so now that we are heading back to the Spy Master, which we do still have a little bit of time, I think we're gonna go ahead and cash in that quest, talk to him, and probably start his next part. Where would you like to go? I need to go to Balamora. Thank you. Why walk? That was a very good question. I was so tired recording yesterday's episode. Like, usually I like to record early in the morning, but I had an appointment and all kinds of other stuff. Greetings to you. And I didn't get a recording. A pleasure to meet you. But what was that? I don't know. It happens. All right. Thank you for your report. I'm happy you've been cured. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. I've been recalled to the Imperial City. You'll be promoted to operative. And we'll head the blades here at Vardenfell until I return. I've only waited here to give you your final orders before I go. Continue pursuing the Neverine prophecy as the Emperor commands. First go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice and get me Hara Milo to help you find the lost prophecies. She's being watched. If something has gone wrong, find her private quarters. She'll leave you a message there under the code word Amaya. Then take the lost prophecies... Okay, I got cross-eyed. Then take the Lost Prophecies to Nabani Mesa. From that point, you'll have to follow her directions and follow the prophecies. Good luck. Mihara Milo says the dissident priests do have records of the Ashland and Ar Everine prophecies. And she has an idea of where we might get a look at them. Okay. 
Okay, so he was recalled. We need to go to Vivek and we need to find Mihara Milo. Mihara Milo is in Vivek. Absolutely beautiful. You know, I have to say, Balamora is probably like my favorite little town on Morrowind. It's just so calm and cozy, and it's like in the middle of a valley and a river. I like it. Where would you like to go? I like it. And then we could poof there. <laughs> to Vivek. And I can't see. We are a little bit blinded. Come on. There we go. Alright, so... You may speak. Hello, sir. Okay, he really has nothing for us. Alright, so we're looking for Mihara Milo's quarters. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. What can you tell me about Mihara Milo? Okay. Like, she was up in the uh, library, but I believe she's not here anymore. Yeah, she done took off. Welcome, friend. I feel as though I should know you. You don't? All right. Mihara Milo, cannon quarters, cannon office, Milo's quarters. Excellent. I'm going to save here just because we are messing around the temple. And I hope it doesn't kick us out just for, like, you know, picking the lock. But it probably will. It was a success. Note to Amaya. Amaya, sorry I missed you. I had run into some old documents over the Inquisitor at the Ministry of Truth. And I'm likely to be tied up there for a while. Why don't you meet me there as soon as you can? Then we can leave together as soon as I'm done. And Amea, don't forget to bring me two Divine Intervention Scrolls you borrowed. Or if you use them, buy a couple new ones for me. I think I'm going to need them soon. Janand Molinik. Mol Molinik. I think that's a C. I can't say it. At the Mages Guild in the Foreign Quarters keeps him in stock. Avella Sarum is a guard at the entrance. Just tell her you're looking for me and she'll let you in. P.S. I left a couple levitation potions here for you, just in case I couldn't remember if you knew the spell or not. So I drew up a couple from stock. Alright. Nine, nine. Alright, so she got into trouble. That's a long blade. I ain't gonna rob her. Yeah, we're not gonna rob her. Actually, we could use this room because she, like, takes off and then we could, like, live there. But there's just so many places that we could, like, live. So we knew need Divine Intervention Scrolls. And as far as I know, uh, just having the spell won't work. Sarah. So we do need to go to the Mages Guild and find two of them. With those two scrolls, we'll be able to do what needs to be done. So it's pretty much, she's like a, I don't want to call her a dissonant priest, but she knows them and she works with them. The uh, people here, the ordinators, they don't like them at all. So pretty much they caught on to like what she's been doing, like behind closed doors and whatnot, and they arrested her. That, uh, pri it, it's a prison is what it is, with that moon thing over by the temple that's just, the temple that's just like floating there. <coughs> Excuse me. That is actually a prison. And I can't see, but Pretty much, we gotta go in there. The guard will like let us in, and we'll have to, like ninja foot our way through there. Once we're already through there, we'll this? talk to her, give her the scroll. She'll poof out of there. We'll poof out of there, and 
and then she'll give us information on like where to go next who to see and what to do and then we'll be able to track down their hideout and then we'll be able to get their progress of truth book for Nabani Mason and that should be in the end of the quest with uh, Kyle's son. He should take off after that, so we won't need to like bother him no Not more. And we can get into our own stuff. All right, who am I looking for? Um, okay. So. All right. Janand. Molyneux. We're looking for Janan Molyneux. Oh, here she Share is. your thoughts, Welcome friend. I enjoy the company. I need two divine intervention scrolls. Oh, she's got two. Alright, goodbye. Okay, so we got the scrolls that we need. Actually, we can just poop back over there. Divine intervention. No. We want Om Civi. <laughs> All right, we're here. We have no magic. We can't wait to fill it. So we're kind of just boned at the moment with the magic use. But the good news is she gave us potions to use to get up in there. Like the place that we're going is up in there. That's actually a prison. Like I can't really see it very well because it's dark. It looks like a floating moon, but we're going to do that in our next episode. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay awesome.